I also wanted to talk about the introspective parts of your album. You got that track, Looking Back, where you talk about being raised by your grandmother who had schizophrenia. From what age were you living with her? Like, how long were you in that environment? So I lived with my mom when I was a kid. My dad, like, we both lived in Lawrence, but my dad, like, had his own crib in the law, and my mom had her own crib. So mostly, like, my memories are growing up just with my mom and seeing my dad on the weekend or every other weekend. But my mom, when she had me, she was young, so she was still wilding. So she would, like, leave me with my grandmother. How young was she when she had you? My mom was, I think, 20 when she had me. So you already know, when you're 20, all that responsibility... I can't imagine. Well, you know, in the 80s and then having a baby, so that time was crazy. And that was the crack era, 80s. Crack like era, and people were just going through it, and it was like, Lawrence was like, at the time, was like one of the most fucked up places in the world. She, you know, she was doing her thing, and she was going out clubbing and this and that, so she would like leave me with my grandma. But the thing was like, I had asthma, and my grandma was a chain smoker because she had schizophrenia, so... You know, the whole... Oh, is that something that you chain smoke when you have schizophrenia? I've heard of people that have schizophrenia, they just non-stop, you know, chain smoking because there's like something going on up there that they can't turn off. Like, she would be normal chilling, like, oh, how you doing? And then she'll just be like, ah, fuck, fuck the government, ah, while and screaming at the wall. Yeah. And I'm sitting there, I'm a little kid, like, scared, like, what's going on? A whole room full of smoke, like, choking to death and shit. But then I'll be like, hey, 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 and she's not bad of it. Hi, oh, you want a sandwich? Like... So that's what that's what her schizophrenia was like. It was going from just your normal grandmother to just a completely different and like a wild personality. Screaming at the wall like, oh, the mafia, the mafia's gonna come kill us. Like, I'm sitting there on this fucking floor, like, playing with my little cars and shit, scared. Like, yo, are they gonna come kill us? Like, yeah. And this is that you were how old at then? I was like five, six, seven. So that's scary as hell. That's what I'm saying. So th those memories are like still vivid to me. They're very clear from like, when I was like, you know, I don't know how, but I remember him very clear when I was like four, five, six, seven, you know, that little area. And then, um, you know, like after when she got to be where it was like she was like way off the wire, we ended up having to put her in a nursing home yeah. because she was just too much. Like it was a, it was a liability. You didn't want her to burn down the house or, you know, somehow kill herself. So. Um, towards the later in her life, we had to like check her into a home where people could really like make sure they were giving her medicine and like check out, for, like, look out for her and shit. But is she still around now? She passed okay. away you know, in the 90s. Okay. So she was my best friend though, so it was like I took that one hard and I don't know how the fuck I channeled that story for that song because like even talking about it, I don't really like talking about it too much, but it came out so fire on the song that I decided to keep it. How did you cope at that age? It, when did hip hop come into the picture? Because I'm assuming hip hop rap for you became your way out, maybe. Yeah, I guess. Um, I never really looked at it like that, but like, I think it's that. I think what you said is right. Okay. Like, I never re really been like, oh man, I had a crazy life. Maybe rap saved my life, but I'm pretty sure it did. Yeah, I'm looking back. Sitting in this room, playing on my Nintendo. Stomach rumbling, cause my mother family been broke. She left me with my grandma, she's schizophrenic and mental. And she smoked three packs, and she ain't open up the window. Struggling with asthma, one room apartment. Room full of smoke, while grandma talked to the wall. And she would scream out the air, so everybody laughed. But I held her by the hand, cause she was all that I had.